Again, with a health alert out of Pinellas County, the health department there says it's investigating an active case of tuberculosis at a local school. They say a school employee had active TB and had contact with students and staff for several months during the school year. Our Carson Chambers joins us live outside of the Pinellas County Health Department tonight after speaking with the director. Carson? Well, Jameson, they are not going to identify the school. They're also not going to identify the school employee who tested uh, as an active tuberculosis patient. What they are doing is sending out this letter. Uh, you can see they blocked, blacked out the school's name here, but they're sending out this letter to about 100 students and staff, all of whom are going to have to be tested. The health department is mailing around 100 letters to students at one Pinellas County school, but they won't say which one. Only that the students spend an extended period of time with a school employee who has active tuberculosis. I'm here to reassure the public that there is no TB outbreak in Pinellas County. We are just investigating one case in one school. Epidemiologist Andrea Castillo says either close friends or family of the TB patient have also tested positive and are being treated with prophylactic drugs. Now the health department is reaching out to those 100 students and staff to get tested. We look at those who were at the highest risk and if we have some individuals who um, are positive, meaning that they've been infected, that doesn't mean that they have the active TB disease but that they were infected, then we expand the circle. The school employee may have had contact with students for five to six months, but TB is only transmitted from person to person and does not live on hard surfaces. In order to transmit tuberculosis, it's airborne, and it's, um, contact with an active case has to occur over a period of time. It's not an illness that can uh, be um, transmitted easily. Officials say if they don't hear back from the 100 who will get this letter, they'll track them down in person. And of those around 100 people who get this letter and were exposed, they say statistically, the health department says, about 25% of them will actually test positive for TB, but it does not mean they'll be an active case. It also does not mean that they will be contagious. What it might mean is that they have to take some sort of preventative drug to make sure that they get a clear health screening. Live in Pinellas County, I'm Carson Chambers, ABC Action News. Carson, thank you. And if you need more information about testing locations, you can call the Pinellas County. County Health Department. We put the number right there on your screen for you, 727-824-69.